and welcome back to Erica's Best, where I will bring you the best of the best and more. Again, like I said before in my last video, we are doing decorating tips, hints, and um, and today I'm doing for you a peanut butter fondant. Again, you can use this fondant on top of your cakes, on top of cupcakes, on top of cookies, and I'm going to be showing you different ways that you can use these uh, fondants in videos to come. But this today is a peanut butter fondant. I have about a half of a bag of, uh, of marshmallows, which is about five ounces of marshmallows, with about two tablespoons of creamy peanut butter. And you want to use creamy peanut butter and not chunky peanut butter. Um, because it will be very difficult for you to get a smooth dough with all those chunks of peanut butter, even if it's a peanut butter that has, you know, really tiny crushed up peanuts. It's still difficult for you to get a smooth peanut butter. So inside, inside the mixer, I already have my, um, my melted marshmallows with the peanut butter added, and I have about a cup and a half of, um, powdered sugar. So I'm going to go ahead and beat this until it's all blended and until we have a nice soft dough. Um, you know, when I was a kid, we didn't have fondant. If you wanted a cake, you put frosting on it or um, you, either, or you put whipped cream. But when I was a kid, kid it was just frosting. Um, different types of buttercream. And, um, you know, when fondant came out, you know, it made it a lot easier for you to get a nice, clean looking cake um, where you can add different decorating things to it to make it even better. And it makes it easier to transport because with buttercream cakes, if you bumped it or if you bumped the car ride was a little rocky, the buttercream, because it's soft and because it's, um, it's, it's, it's not something that would get hard. Um, you can mess your cake up, or at least mess the look of it up. Um, so um, people had to be very, very careful in delivering cakes when you're dealing with buttercream. It can't be done. There are many successful businesses that only work with buttercream, even today. It is possible. But uh, Fondant just opened up a whole new world of um, creative ideas. And so um, I hope you um, try um, some of these different um, techniques that I'm going to show um, over the course of this month. Um, I'm going to have many videos um, with different cake recipes, different fillings, different um, decorating um, techniques. So I hope you stay with me during, throughout this month of August and probably into September as well. So, um, so I'll be back once this dough comes together and I'll let you see how it fits. Okay. The peanut butter fondant is done. I'm gonna give it a little taste. for a chocolate cake. It tastes delicious on a, on a vanilla cake. You had a delicious peanut butter frosting. You put this peanut butter frosting on top of it. And decorate it however you want to decorate it. But anywho, this peanut butter fondant is done. And um, I hope you try it. Um, one note. You can add too much, uh, too much cornstarch to, I mean, too much powdered sugar to this. Um, it can get very dry, and then when you try to roll it out, when you try to pick it up and put it on your cake, it'll start tearing. So you want to be careful to add just enough to where, when you pinch it, it's not sticky. Once you pinch it and it's not sticky anymore, then you're at a good consistency. And then when you roll it out, um, you want to. Like, when I spread all this, push all this 
powdered sugar to the side. There's still a thin layer left here. That's about all you want to use on your board when you roll in your fondant out because it can dry out very easy. And it may take you two or three times to get it the size you wanted or to get it um, to, the, uh, to the thickness you wanted. So you want to be very careful when you're rolling this out um, to roll it out, use a measuring, like this board has a measure, it'll go out to 16 inch round. So 16 inch round will cover about a 10 inch cake um, with, the, with the sides. If you're talking about a cake that's probably three or four inches high, you would need it out to 16 to get all the way around the cake with some extra hanging on the side so that you can get it nice and smooth. So I will teach you those things um, when I start um, decorating cakes uh, but right now I'm working on just getting um, all the things you need ready so in addition to peanut butter frosting I am also going to make um, a marzipan I'm also going to make a chocolate fondant and I'm going to make a plain white vanilla fondant so please stay tuned for those videos they will be coming um, I'm going to have a whole uh, probably into September with just decorating cakes, cookies, cupcakes, and just decorating, period. So um, I hope you stay tuned and watch. So please remember to subscribe, like, and share, and hit that notification bell so that you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Thanks. Thanks for watching. You can also follow me on Instagram and on Twitter. Um, so please um, look at those uh, social media sites as well. So thanks for watching and bye for now. God bless you.